In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this bar graph that will show you the difference between two metrics on a scale from left to right. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back. And as a quick reminder, if you are finding any value in any of the content that I put out, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help me out. So now without further ado, let's get after today's project. So what you'll notice here is we are starting with a small data set. I just made it really small so that we could easily um, do the calculations for this project. The first thing that we're going to want to do is find the percentage difference between these two numbers. So if you see, we have basically five athletes, five dates, and then a bench press score and a deadlift score. So what we'll do is create a new column called percentage diff, and we're going to perform a calculation. The way that I like to look at this is we'll have one value that we want to show to the right if it is positive and a value that we want to show to the left if it is negative. So if we calculate this out, any um, positive values should show to the right and that would mean that this value is larger and then any negative values will show to the left and that would mean that this value is larger. So in order to do this calculation, what we would like to do is um, type equals, and then I'm going to open up a bracket. And this is the only spot where it really matters which value you put in first. So what we wanna put in is right value minus left value, and I'm going to close off that bracket. And then what I wanna do is divide this by another bracket but I'm going a double bracket here because there's two calculations I want to perform. And we're going to add these two values together. So right versus, or right plus left, and then divide that whole thing by two, and then close that whole bracket off. So essentially what we're doing is taking the difference between these and then dividing it by the average of the two values. But because of the order, that we've calculated out the difference, that will determine whether we have a negative or a positive value. So if I hit enter here, what you'll notice is um, this is minus 0 0.4. And then if I drag this down, you'll see we get all of our values. So 0 0.4 or minus 0 0.4 and then 0 0.4 minus one um, plus one and then um, positive 0 0.5. So you can see any time that the deadlift is actually larger, we get a positive value, which means the graph will be going to the right. And any time the bench press is larger, we get a negative value, I mean the graph will go to the left. So this is important because we might want to do this with something like um, left leg, right leg um, jumping height or left leg, right leg abduction or adduction strength or something like that where it's really important which direction the graph goes de depending on what our actual values are. So again, that calculation is just um, right minus left over um, right and left added together and then divided by two and then the whole thing um, divided by that value. Now, if I want to turn this into a percentage, what I can do here is just take this um, these cells and then hit the percentage icon and Excel will automatically turn those into a percentage. So let's graph this and actually see what it looks like. So if I take this um, chart and or this column and I hit um, insert and then recommended charts, you can see that right here we have a chart that we might want to include and that's our percentage difference. Now, one thing that we might wanna do here is actually display the percentage difference on this chart. And I want it to always display in a positive value, depending on um, whether or not, well, basically what I wanna do is just show that this side is 40% bigger or this side is 40% bigger or so on and so forth. I don't necessarily want all of these negative values. So what I like to do is just take the scale away and then I'm going to create a small if formula here. So what it looks like is equals if, open this up, and if this one is less than zero, meaning that it is negative, then I want to take this one and multiply it by minus one, 
Otherwise, I just want to display this value and then close this off. So essentially what this formula will do is check to see if the value is less than zero, meaning it's negative. And if it is, we will multiply it by negative one, which is just going to turn it into a positive. So this will just be an absolute of 40%. And then if it's not, then we know it's a positive. So we'll just take that value as is. When I hit enter, you'll see that it turns it back into all positive values. And I'm going to actually turn those into percentages as well. Now from here, when I select this chart, I can go to chart design, add chart element, and we can go to data labels and we can go center. And you can see it's added these data labels. We'll make them white so that we can see them, maybe make them a little bit bigger, but you can see we have minus 100 and uh, minus 40 and then positive, but I want them all to be positive. So what I'm gonna do is just double click on these data labels and there will be an option to actually take a value from cells. So if I click there, it's going to ask me what the label range is that I want, and I'm going to just select that one that we just created. And then when I hit OK, we'll turn off the actual value. And now all we have is just the absolute percentage value of whatever it is we chose. So this is an easy way to make your chart just look a little bit better and just show the difference between sort of our left and right values. And then the last thing that we might want to ch create is just our sort of title, because right now we have the series labels of one, two, three, four, and five. Maybe we want to create a label. And what that might look like is if we go into this first cell, we might want to go equals, and then the athlete name, and then the and symbol, um, quotation space, quotation, and um, bench press. And I'm going to lock that in because that's never going to change. And then another and symbol, and then quotation, space, line, um, space, quotation, and then another and symbol, and deadlift. And I'm gonna lock that one in because that's never gonna change. And you'll see why I did this. Now we have something that looks like athlete one, and then bench press, line, deadlift. So what I like to do is put this um, on my chart as a label because basically what that signifies to me is that the bench press is on the left and the deadlift is on the right. If I drag this down, we'll create that for each one and I can select the actual um, category axis. If I hit right click and select data, here they are on the horizontal row. If I hit edit, I can select a label range and I'll just select those ones that we just created and I'll hit okay. And now that category, whoops, I didn't save it. <laughs> so let's do that one more time. Select that and then hit okay and then okay again. And there's our category axis. And now it's just a matter of playing around with those a little bit where we want them. So I'm gonna actually select the category axis and find the axis um, options. I think it's under labels and let's put it to low and that just sticks it on the side of our graph. So there you can see now we have this graph where we have our categories down the one side and then all of our graph in the middle. From there, I mean, we can do any number of things. We can play around with the formatting, maybe make it look a little bit nicer but really, this is a graph that now we can use to display the differences between two different values on a scale that moves left, right um, in a total percentage difference. So I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I will be posting more videos like this in the future. And if you know anyone that might find this video useful, if you could share it with them, that would really help the channel grow. So until I see you in the next video, thanks for watching.